Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Perfect Hour 2, the updated series. Today is the second part of Laboratory, so we'll look at those. Just before we start, one of my goals also today is to get every single module I can find. So absolute zero is 100 liters minus 273C. Let's get this and let's get started right away. The other ones I can already look for you. See, I got them all. But it's not the case on this side, so let's fix that. Okay, so light. First, let's clean what we can. And light is a lot of fun. Light was changed quite a lot. <laughs> you see uh, this uh, setup, I'll explain it. It's not as bad as it looks if you have never played this game before. It used to be a, a light particle that you would get to bounce over the walls. I didn't mind it, but this is more fun. It's like a puzzle thing. Uh, if you go on Discord, you're going to find probably better setups than this. This is something I came up with, in fact, in the previous series um, rework. And I did not copy it, but I used the same concept, which I'm about to explain. Those are... I'm just going to remove those. So uh, there's a light source. And this is... I don't know how you call this, but it's a... Uh, it's a um, where the light goes to give you certain colors. Right now the light is, is white, but if the beam hits here, it counts. So one, two, three hits here, one, two, three, four hits here, all right? And then um, these are also receiving light, but they're expensive in the sense that when I started the, when I started this experiment, I could not even uh, afford this which simply resurrects, you know, resurrects light. I'm just gonna use some color. This is just a, uh, a filter. Let's put a red filter on this one. See, the, the red turns, the light turns red. Now it's white because there's white light coming on this side. If I go red, red, then everything's red, okay. So there's uh, six colors, all right. So, um, yeah, so this is super expensive. So what I would do, you you can you this is a prism. You put it right in front of the light and it produces all three colors. If I remove this, you see all you see. Uh, let me just remove this for a second. I can't, of course, it doesn't let me. <laughs> but it probably produces red, green, and blue. And my old setup was everything all at once, all the colors all at once. A complicated setup. But there's a better approach than this. So let's rebuild what I just destroyed. Hoping I can remember how. I think I will be fine. We're going to go with yellow. So already something. Uh... Does this hit here? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I, no, I think it works. We're good. Okay, so this setup that I made. Let me just uh, get out of here. There you go. Oh, he brings me back. I just want to maybe click on it again. Ah, you click on it again and you get, get rid of it. So the goal is to have one color. So if we look at these numbers, the lowest color would be blue. So normally I would go blue, blue, and accumulate some blue. Because it's the lowest. No, it's not the lowest. No, it's E8. What am I saying? Am I losing my mind? No, it's really yellow. No, it's not even... <laughs> it's a cyan, cyan, cyan. Wow, I can't count today. There you go. So see, number goes up. So as you have particles of a certain color going into the receptors, you have, uh, you know, it goes up. So what I did is I split the original because any color is composed by two beams of light. So what I did is I funneled into one, one thing here. Then I branched as much as possible. That's one branch, another branch, another branch, another branch, another branch. We get to multiply the light as much as possible. The more you hit, because of a prestige upgrade, the more you hit the same target with a certain color, 
the more points you get. And you have to, to advance, you have to, this is an image, but it's just a symbolic in reality. There's certain numbers you have to reach for each color. And I hit next, next, until at this point, oh, I would need more green. So maybe I would stop here and I would go green. To prestige, there's a requirement of a certain number of uh, images that you make. If I prestige, because I have those three things, the negative effects, and go back in the previous video if you don't know what I'm talking about, the negative effect of, um, of prestige do not exist. So the light grid is not reset and the light particles are not reset, okay? Increase base light production by 75% over each level. So at the source, increase the total of light particle production of a specific color by 12% for each ray at the same color that hits any input of any receiver. That's why I want as many entries as possible in one receiver and I'm going to continue with this. And this one is reduce the amount of light required to complete an image by 25%. It's actually, actually significant. Maybe I'll hit this once. But now I can't. I need 27 images to prestige if I want to prestige. Right? Oh, by the way, this is a single receptor because this light can go anywhere. And these are mirrors. Okay? You mess around with it and you'll figure it out. It's not it's not bad at all. But the, the, the best approach, in my view, is the, this one. Because as I said, I used to go all colors. Every color existed was complicated, but it was low numbers because I hit one, two, three, four times, one, two, three times. What? This is twice. This is like one, two, one, two, one, two. And this case can probably uh, be improved, but uh, it's always the same color hitting this, you know, the receptors. So I easily, you know, finish this and I can prestige again. And I just reach a new goal, okay? So then I have all the uh, the muzzles. So that's the light for you. I'm not too sure what else to say. It's pretty much it. Okay, this one. So that's air. Okay, air um, could be very painful because if I upgrade this, E16, 17. So I do have money. What I'm thinking of doing is just um, go by max everything. So you have a bunch of compressor. You push air into a hole. Okay, yeah, capacity power recharge. And all I do is put them all at the same level and they're always running and I'm pushing air in this box. And there's pressure. Now the hole, the better the hole is, the better it holds pressure. So if I'm not going to do this, oh, I just maxed it out. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would be ridiculously expensive. So I just maxed out the hall. And what I'll do is just go right click by max. And, uh, you know, I'll run out of money, but I can, and I'm just right clicking right now to go as fast as, because imagine I'm trying, trying to do this like this, maybe with it on a total clicker, I don't feel like it. And you see the pressure going up and my money going down as good 10%. I'm in MT15, just so you know, for those who don't know. Okay, so that's all you do. And um, these are the goals. I have all the muzzles. I keep trying to find this war for some reason. All the muzzles. And uh, now I can prestige. I'll show you where the requirement is. Increase the pump strain as well as storage compressors by 20% or effectively raises the effectiveness of each whole level by a small level amount, also increases the minimum and maximum agree level of the whole by one. So why don't I do it once? And again, because nothing reset. Oh yeah, it's for, you know, the compressors don't reset, oxygen, pressure, do, does not reset, hull does not reset. So I keep, uh, it's like uh, with fire, you keep your um, temperature. Here I keep my pressure so it doesn't reset. That's why I can prestige Again and again and again until I no longer reach the requirement. And where is that requirement? I don't know. Oh, there's a hundred percent here. So if you're not a hundred percent here, you're not at a full requirement. 
So that's all there is to it. It's a very simple, uh, very simple experiment. Next one. Everything's maxed out here. Once again, when you start, it's not maxed out. And uh, it's some sort of, um, I don't know how to explain this thing, but it's a circle that you expand. You start it from scratch, you expand it. Uh, I don't know exactly what the wording would be. If I go in help. <laughs> Experiments. Yeah, universal. No. Neutral. Increase the size of the orb. Okay, so it's an orb. It's the term of it. So I can prestige. Double the base production of every generator for each level. Raise the maximum purchase limit for each component by 5%. Because they're maxed out and cheap, I should upgrade that. So it will reset your orb to zero. If you didn't have those, once again, reset max orb to square root of your current maximum. Reset all generators to zero. And in this case, I can multi prestige. So an orb size is, is required for you to be allowed to prestige. And I'm not, uh, so th this is um, when I hit expand, okay. This is 1.0 E13 is the highest it can get. So I wait and I let it go up to that point. But for the requirement for prestige, I don't know. I don't know where it tells me, but I can prestige quite a bit. Look at that. So I wonder where, there you go. So it's based on the orb size, see? I need 1.084 E13, but I'm not there yet, so I can no longer prestige. That's the kind of thing I wanted to show you. So I can uh, go max for everything like this. And um, yeah, just get hit expand. It takes longer and longer and get to get bigger and bigger like this. And that's all there is to it. I need to spend more time on it, but nice and easy. So this one's a lot of fun and didn't do too much of it. Missing three modules. My goal in this video is to get them all. Look at this. So this is a lot of fun also. Uh, what's nice is if I go in the... Pre no, I cannot prestige right now. But if I go in the prestige upgrade, we can look at it right now. Gravity grid will be reset. So if you don't have this, this gets shuffled every time. A little bit annoying. Another thing that's annoying, which I don't mind, I call it annoying within the experiment itself. Increase the maximum jumps the gravity orb can perform by 10. Which means at the beginning it goes like, let's say you got 20, it's like 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Goes, uh, and it dies. Okay, so I maxed it out. Okay. I maxed so you know you know what I mean? So the more I upgrade this, the longer it can go for. And now I use infinite here, and this is three so it's gonna go like this. Like that. So it's a little bit of a puzzle thing again. You try to make some now this is, and this is infinite, so this is three, see three times, so it can pass three times. And blue is to re, uh, reduce gravity and red is to increase gravity. Normal arrow, is you, I think it passes only once and it, it dies. How about those? Unlock an arrow component that can be placed up to four times and redirect the gravity arrow on two directions and points up to five times. Instead of three, it's five. So that's a nice one. Two hours that only redirect the orb if the gravity value is, of it is either positive or negative. Oh, so that's for very complicated setups. Complicated for me. Reduce the cost of altering the gravity grid by 10%. So when I change the grid, it's more and more expensive. Increase effectiveness of red and blue gravity fields by 5%. I'm going to want that. Unlock a black orb that inverts the current gravity value of the gravity orb whenever it passes over it. So that could be interesting because there are positive and negative g-force goals for uh, 
You know what I mean? Like this is above 1.5 G. Oh, this is below 0.5 G, etc. And I think, uh, yeah, the resistance is um, very low. Uh, well, it's the negative Gs and damage is in the positive, positive Gs plus those. I'm going to start with negative to go 0 0.5. Then on, I only need 1.75 oh, on 1.5, the higher side of the breath. I do both though. Yeah, 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 I do both. Doesn't matter. Uh, did I go over everything? And what's this? Unlock the component that reflects the gravity or 90% clockwise is if the entry point is a corner or 180 degrees if it enters any other side. So you play around with it, I guess, uh, more or less understand this. What this says, I never used this before. Unlock a purple orb that refreshes the entire grid it's except itself when the gravity orbs enters it. I don't know what that does, but I keep it simple. So you hit launch. Okay, and then you just watch the G's go down because it's blue. Then I'm going to switch to red to up the G's. So, yeah, I came up with this myself. Again, on Discord, there might be absolutely incredible setups. This is, uh, you know, I just look for a path from the inside and towards the inside. Uh, from the outside and towards the inside. The reason why I use infinity here is for one last shot here. So minus 0 0.01 G. You can claim this. I need a minus 0 0.5 Gs. That's because I did not spend too much time here. So now I can prestige more than once. Which is good because I'll be able to uh, increase uh, this effectiveness as of uh, the gravity fields. Go back and then uh, I'm gonna launch again. I you do it. I don't never mind. Every time you do it, it's an experiment that starts from 1G. Okay. So my record minus 0 0.01 record, top record 0 0.65. And in fact, I'm not that far from being able to get the. Uh, it's 0 0.5 G, is that what I need? It's not too bad. We're getting close already. I don't want to switch to red yet. Just being lazy here. Let's do it again. So I want to see where... Okay, I see. Minimum record or max record. So 0 0.37 for next prestige. Now I'll make them more efficient. So I don't even need to improve this, even though it's not perfect. I don't even need to improve it. Just I'm just, you know, I'm just running it like this. I'm gonna go. I might reach 0 0.5 just with that. Then I switch everything to red and see if, if I can get all the muzzles. We'll have everything. Besides maybe these two. We'll talk about that after. I'm close. There you go. Minus 0 0.5. So we get the universal shield. That rings a bell. Wasn't that strong? Okay, uh, and now I'm gonna go red. You see the cost, and it's not high, so you can do that very early in the game. We're gonna do a positive G number, G force number, with the same setup. No need to uh, go fancy and improve this. So it took me a few shots, of course, to uh, be able to max out the R. Right, that right now the R. I think is it's infinite. There's no limit anymore. When you start, there's a limit, and we got emergency crit, and 1.75 G is what I need below. I don't understand. Uh, oh, minus 1.75 G. Oh, wow. Okay. So, 2.881, uh, 84 Gs. So, I gotta go in the minus. Oh, well, well, well. Okay, let's try something. I'm gonna get this. And then I'm gonna continue to go with uh, the effectiveness. And what I can do here is, this is infinity, right? So, what I can do is... Replace this with five times these. Five times, five times. It's gonna go further, so I'll 
Oh no, uh, blue. I got it. Yes, blue, blue. That's what I want. Sorry. So let's see uh, how well we do this time. And so. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, it's gonna go a little further. Instead of dying here, it's gonna go one more. Like this. It's gonna die right there. So minus one. And I said minus 1.5. We might get it. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Thanks to this little change that I made. There you go. Minus two even. Temporal barrier. Now, uh, there's a uh, wiki for modules. Okay, check it out. Well, that's it. Well, that's what this experiment is about. And we got all, all of them. Now, we'll go in the fancy stuff. 21 minutes in, into... Uh, <laughs> the other video was 28 minutes. Okay, this is... Um, I have a walker doing this right now, 68 stacks. Okay, um, so what you need is that everything has to become blue, but for this, you start very low lock chance and gem chance. So let me uh, just calm my <laughs> walker down a little bit so I can do something. And there's something I don't remember at all in this. So here, yeah. So what do you want to do? If you do it by hand, you go like this, right? And so every time I spin like this, I got 30% chance at that to have a gem. And whatever is touching me like a cross, these here, every time I click this, I have 80% chance that it's locked, but sometimes it's not locked, like in this case. So it's an E10, E11 blue gems to be able to reach this amount. So a trick to make blue gems is go uh, in the mine, have uh, workers in the mine. Battle drills. Triple the speed at which new mining layers are generated while tower testing is active. So as you do, do your tower testing, uh, there's more layers and your workers will get more gems. How about multiple shark resource reward at your current town level and gem reward at your town level, so the power is 0 0.15. Doesn't sound like much, but that's what got me to uh, where I am right now. So, gem dust. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna have to remember this part. So phasing. So that's another muzzle. So I have them all already. This is perfect. Gem dust will give you uh, more gem rewards in the shipyard. The thing is, I don't remember how gem dust works, so why don't we look at it? So now I got 68 stack. So that sequence, when you fill it all completely, you gotta do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, and that's one stack. Then you one stack, five stack. It used to be so painful, but with workers, I don't know if it was a quality of life improvement that was implemented or something, or if it was already there and missed it. But now with the workers automatically doing it, doing it for me. It's really good. Now I can take those stacks and put them in the grinder, but they're not they're not leveled up very much. So let's do this. This a little bit. So don't consume st uh, stack is very low instant complete chance. Okay. So if I uh, insert one stack to Q, ten stack to Q, hundred. Let's go ten. And then I'm grinding. I'm getting some dust. Then now I can prestige, I reach the goal, the dust goal, and I'm gonna use dust to, now it cost me 40 for level two, and I can have a worker that does that, by the way. That's all there is to it in reality. Let's look at workers, I wanna make sure I'm not lying to you. Um, here, you go, laboratory, spin gems, Stack inserter. I showed that in the last video at the end without speaking. Inserts the specified amount of stacks into the gem grinder on every work tick. So I'll probably have a worker doing that to get some dust. That's for the shipments here. I'm doing this. I have a worker doing this it's to help me get exotic gems. I know it's not the best for sea miles. That's the has nothing to do with this video anyways.
Okay, and the last thing I want to just talk about without doing it is this. Let's look at goals right away. Generic resistance. Generic resistance is 99% all. 99% all element resistance. It's a quite good muzzle. One fabric variety. What is that? If you have one E308 universes, you made one fabric of reality. Reason why I cannot push this is because it's insanely expensive in terms of exotic gems and they're called exotic for a reason. It takes a while before you're able to have a lot. I have unbelievable amounts in my original save file. Ridiculous numbers, but it will take me a while for me to uh, reach such numbers in this save file. And as you can see, Wilsiverse and Celestial Dullness is uh, grayed out. I don't have access to it, so I, I cannot do uh, this. Uh, I don't, and this is new, like this stuff is new. This is not new, but it was doing nothing. Oh, I don't remember. Maybe, yeah, the one fabric, uh, uh, fabric of reality thing, maybe. I don't even remember this. But I certainly remember that they, this setup, I remember it from the past. Reality Juicer. Starts the production of existence essence. Cost me one. I have 12 here. Why don't I get started? And it's very slow. But if I go here, now it's a little faster. On completion, I'm going to get more than one. Okay. But it's so slow. Uh, I don't know how, how long it's going to take. Uh, that's something. So once I figure this out and I'm able to do everything involved here and I fully understand it. I'll make a, a video or a part of a video, probably I wouldn't need a full video for that. So this is the laboratory for you. It's a great source of muzzles because at one point in a game, you need a fair amount of muzzles to be able to uh, cheer up and we'll move forward in the game a little bit later in the series. I don't know in which order, but we'll talk about era basics, the basics of the concept of era. Also, uh, basic AI, very basic AI. In fact, I'm just going to show you my AI uh, scripts that I made. They're very simple and I don't think I'll ever go into complicated territory. But there's one that is really essential to have. It's the AI that automatically activates your muzzles, your active muzzles. Some active muzzles are very, very strong. So uh, you need an AI script for this. I'm going to show you that. So next episode, I'm not sure what it's going to be about. It could be about the fabricator also, because I haven't touched it yet. Um, certain things are happening in it. It has to do with asteroid mining, which is another specialization. The factory is not a specialization, but it does have one called the fabricator. So in, in which order do I do things? I don't know yet. I'll think about it. Again, this stuff is not that easy to explain. I hope I was clear. If you have questions, don't hesitate. I'll do my best to answer. I hope you like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.